Good morning, good morning. Uh, in this video, I just want to quickly show you how to make um, some of these uh, uh, sort of uh, nightmarish kind of analog horror type style photos. Um, I took this picture out on in uh, in Vermont as I was walking. Um, there's these kind of uh, uh, towers that almost seem like they're walking down a hill. It reminds me of something that I've saw, so I thought, well, let me get a uh, photo of this and see uh, I don't think it does though I mean if anybody saw that picture you know um, they had to have um, kind of uh, you know cut something out and pasted it on there and so whoops this is some quick ways on a picture that somebody can you know alter something you just stretch out the uh, stretch out the stuff, which is fun. Like this, maybe I mean stretched. It could almost there's there's things that can be done with it that that look. Um, not sure what, but I mean even even this night sky maybe and just erase something right there. I mean, there th th those are some quick ones. I've tried it. I mean it 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 does work um, in ways you know with a bit of practice and work. And so maybe, you know, um, if we were to take another picture for that mountain and say we want to glue something on it. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe this uh, a giant bird, you know, why not? I was looking at this bird this morning and it almost... It almost looks transparent. I'm, I did take that photo through the, uh, the the window pane. So the window was up. I snapped the photo as he's on there. So I don't recall, you know, why, why these twigs appear to be going through his head. But it, it could actually be a ghost bird. When I, I took the picture because it was knocking on the walls. And I'm thinking, you know, what what is that? And when I found it was a bird, I thought, oh, that's not, you know, something that that odd. I mean, it's just a maybe a woodpecker or something. But then looking back on the photo and seeing the twigs, I'm thinking, what, what, what is that actually? This, um, you know, Paint 3D Select tool is quite nice. It, it, uh, I mean, this bird, you know, being transparent like this. I mean, it's not the greatest for this picture, but you know, uh, this is just an example, you know, the, of what, uh, what this can be done with the uh what can be done with with normal photos so i'm just going to copy that and then whoops i will shove it over here and see if i can no so that didn't that didn't work um transparent wise unless it's uh saved so what i'll do is go over here to the canvas and i'll shut it off and what we'll do is save it as a uh png and then we'll click the transparent button and we'll uh, just adjust that. If anybody's ever been in a computer animation class, this transparent, the grid here, you you would no, you will know that uh, you know some of the animation software out there. You can create clothes for some of the models you create, and those grids show you that you know you're gonna have the the clothes f and not the the entire picture so now what we'll do is go back to this picture and uh, we'll just insert that PNG and see how it uh, it looks I think I named it a test right here and it pops in there so once that's done you know you could pretty much you know put the bird places you know I mean that one's kind of creepy and then if we make it into a sticker, you know, when it, that wasn't, we have to first make it, um, when working with paint 3D, you have to first make it 3D, you know, I'm not sure what's up with that. I mean, they might, you know, paint might get some of the profit because it's 3D, but you have to make it 3D and then you make it, whoops, whoops, you make it 3D and then you make it into a sticker and then you can kind of turn your um, 3D ghost sticker and it, like I said working with paint 3D is kind of gray 
you would or would not know if if you're stepping on you know the applications rights right then so let me go up here and save it you know I don't think that I would do much um, with a, a commercial um, thing with um, paint uh, 3d without without a little bit of further permissions but you know I mean one or two you know commercial by accident or something I wouldn't I wouldn't you know worry about it but I mean cuz that that's pretty clever right there I mean that's a huge thing right there to kind of toss that online um, you know and and then kind of claim credit for it you know it's it's quite quite big but you know there's, there's really no reason that I see in reading the uh, license for paint 3d why this could not be done commercially but there's always something deep in the paperwork and so that is how we can get, you know, something cool, you know, in a photo um, when it comes to, uh, you know, e even even stretching things. I mean, say this, you wanted to the mountain up a bit higher, you could go like this. People could question your photo like, what is that, you know, which is pretty cool. Thank you for uh, watching.